If action is always equal to reaction, explain how a horse pull a cart. According to Newton's third law of motion, the horse exerts an action force on the cart. So the cart also exerts equal and opposite reaction force on the horse. The resultant force acting here is zero and so the cart does not move in the beginning. In order to move the cart, the horse must apply greater force on the cart than the cart applies it on the horse. That is, the pull force of the horse must be greater than the opposite frictional force of the cart. In order to do so, the horse bends forward and presses the ground with his feet and applies backward action force on the ground. So, the ground also applies forward reaction force on the horse, which is obviously greater than the friction force of the cart. The resultant force acting here is not zero. The net unbalanced force is acting on the horse. This unbalanced force helps the horse to pull the cart and the cart moves forward.